again. Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming out. We are at Liberation. We get things started with a game called Beastie Rap. Now, the way this game works is we're going to show off our amazing rapping skills. And one person's going to be out here, one person's going to be out here, and they're going to be facing each other. They're going to have to come up with a rhyme, and their posse is going to have to finish their rhyme. You will get it, and if there's only one, if it's down to one person with no posse, you guys are going to be the posse. I'll explain that if that happens. We're going to get started. So, can I get just a one syllable name? Bob. 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 I'll start. Can I get a beat, please? Yeah, the very first word it is Bob! I keep my keys on a Bob! I eat my corn when it's on the cob! Underhand toss is a lob. Oh, I'm really messy. I'm quite awesome. Watch out, Shrek. There's an angry mob. Gonna open the door. Gonna turn the knob. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna stop. Just a little bit of paint. It's a cob. Oh, oh, so Tim is out. So we're gonna have to get one more word from you guys. Another one syllable name. Sam. Sam. Okay. Give me a beat. My favorite guy, his name is Sam. Yeah, short for camera. It is Cam. I like to eat something called lamb. Shaquille O'Neal was in Space Jam. I'm from a pig. Its name is Ham. A country in Asia is Vietnam. I got nothing. It is Sam. <laughs> okay, so we're about to rubble left and right here. So can I get another one syllable word? It doesn't have to be a name. You get one. Wrong. What is that? Wrong. Wrong? Wrong. 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 The sun comes up when it is dawn. When the wind it is gone. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. gone with the wind. Um, Just so like no posse. I am alone with no posse. Hardly my fault. So you guys are going to be my posse. So I'm going to have to try to convey what I want you guys to say. And just like everybody else was, you're going to shout it out. All right. All right. So can I have the first word? One syllable. Chair. Chair. Okay. Chair. All right. Here we go. The thing you sit on, it's a chair. Only you can stop forest fire smoking a bear. That stuff on your head, it's called chair. Should have set a trap to catch you in my snare. I don't have to shave, I'll use snare. Bet you won't do it, yeah, it's a dare. I am evil, come back to my lair. I'm a bear that likes to share. I got nothing. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes. Okay, that was fun. <laughs> we lost a lot. Uh, <laughs> we lost so much. We're going to play a game called Changing Genres and emotions. And this game is for Mike, Katie, and Bill. And the way this game works is we're going to have you just get suggestions for different emotions, different genres, and they're going to start a scene, and throughout that scene, I'm going to stop them and assign them these emotions or genres. So, can I just, just start shouting out some genres and emotions? Sound Sound film. Sound film. <laughs> Mystery. Psycho. 
Tell him about it. Tell him about it. You're writing them down? I, I'm no, he's memorizing them. them. He's memorizing them. I'll write them down. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> just keep shouting them. Probably would. Oh, oh man. Angry. <laughs> Disgusted. Yeah. Happy. <laughs> Disney. 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 <laughs> I'm feeling Disney today. That's a shock. Blues. <laughs> is that which one is that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's cheating. How about from this side? It's not true. <laughs> Rage. Rage. Hysterical. Hysterical. Confused? Confused. One more. PMSing. PMSing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so can I get a suggestion to start these guys off? Um, how about something that you would find in the back of your closet? My dog. Skeletons. 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 Okay. My army of skeletons. Are you prepared? To take over the world! Uh, so prepared. Yes, skeleton number two! <laughs> I'm missing part of my tibia! Damn it! Skeleton number two! Sorry. Uh, you know, mine's kind of long. You can have. Skeleton number one, you I need your tibia! <laughs> Idiot! <Is it> shared? <sighs> okay. Uh, so I thought, Mike, you are happy. Uh, uh, Okay, you know, this is gonna work. <laughs> Skeleton number two, yes. Yes. What? My uh, tibia is a lot shorter now, uh, and it's throwing my hip out. <laughs> but you know what? It is making your ass look great. <laughs> well, like, your, the bones that are where your ass would be. Stop. Bill, you're Disney, <laughs> and Katie, you're blues. We're <laughs> just saying that. <laughs> <sighs> yep, nope, skeleton number one, two, two, one. Number one, what is it? It's really bright out here, and I just, I wonder if I can have some sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, you just want to take over the world with a skeleton army, and they're always asking for demands. I, I, uh, I, I don't have a demand. Uh, I'm just uh, happy to take over the world with you. Thank you, <laughs> skeleton number two. That's Stop. What? Mike, you're silent. Everybody's still the same thing. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, can I have a guitar? Give <laughs> 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 guitar. Thank you. We, well, I guess we can take over the world after awesome. you sing your song. Stop. Okay. Mike, you're no longer silent. You are in the movie Psycho, and everybody is PMSing. <laughs> this guitar is out of tune! No, oh, we're never going to be able to play it. <laughs> oh man! I, I hate this time of the month! <laughs> it's really hot outside. Why did I. Why did I build a skeleton army? I live alone in this hotel! <laughs> no I just want to take something over like right now! Oh. Oh. I wish I didn't give those skeleton knives! You're a horrible leader! You gave us knives! <laughs> Why did you give me a knife for this time of the month? Stop! Everybody is hysterical and raging hysteria. <laughs> I feel exactly the same as I did two minutes ago! <laughs> The world will be mine. <laughs> See. <laughs> okay, so that was changing genres and emotions. Now we're gonna play a game called Moving People with Tim and Taylor. Okay, so we can get those guys up here. Uh, we're gonna need two audience volunteers for these 
for these guys. These are basically puppets for you. And they're going to do exactly what you moved them to do. But you don't have to actually talk to them. They're going to make the scene. So can I get two people to come up here and move them? Don't be shy. <laughs> We're clean. They are very clean. <laughs> yeah, they smell decent. I'll do it. Okay, we got one. We need one more. I promise it's super easy. Easy. I like it. Super easy. If he wants to walk, just kind of push us. <laughs> they're not going to fall. They're not going to do anything. Anybody? One Come more. on. One more. One more person. I'm alone up here. You can't here. continue until we get another volunteer. <laughs> right there. All right. So what is your name? Don. Don and? James. Don and James. Let's give a hand to Don and James. Woo! So, like I said, you're just gonna they're gonna be stiff puppets. And so you're just gonna move them and they're gonna keep their poses and whatever you do to them. Uh, so can I get a suggestion to start these guys out? Maybe something. Your favorite holiday. Should they put us in like a starting position? Yeah, why don't you guys put them in a starting position? And your favorite holiday. <laughs> Please. April Fools. April Fools is the holiday. Pranks <laughs> are so boring. It's kind of no, I, I've been April Fools. I've been working on this one for hours. <laughs> it's the old tie my own hand to my back prank. That's amazing. <laughs> Holy shit! How'd you do that? You'll never know. Bend that. Tell baby. me your secrets. A pranker never tells his secrets. <laughs> Didn't they teach you? I see it. You're using magnets. <laughs> Ow! Take that, you. you Dick. Take it. That's right. Not only do I prank, I'm angry now, but I also know prank jitsu. <laughs> Take that. And this. Oh, ah! That's right. Now your heart is in my hands. <laughs> I know. Where is your other heart? Both of my hearts. I, no, oh, I need no. this one back. No. Get back in there. Wait. Just, yeah. If I can only reach you. No, one. don't yes. resist. You don't resist. <laughs> this was meant to be. Oh. There's a prank where you, you pretend like you fall in love with me and then. This is no prank, Charles. <laughs> Wait, my heart just skipped a beat. I can, fe I can tell because it's in my hand. Which heart? <laughs> oh, see. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, it's not a game. Perfect. Now, this game is one for all of us. It's called I Like My Women, although if you're a woman or somebody else. Whatever your preference is, homosexual. <laughs> yes. Whatever your preference is, um, it's a line game. So can we get an object you find in your uh, just junk drawer, just something that you would store away, and not care about? Candle. Candle. I like my women like I like my candles, hot and dripping. <laughs> <laughs> I like my women like I like my candles, bought for three dollars and smelling like apples. <laughs> I like my women like I like my candles with cake all over them. <laughs> I like my women like I like my candles, given to me on Christmas and not used till October. <laughs> oh. I like my women like I like my candles. In jars. <laughs> I like my women like I like my candles. Handy during a power out. <laughs> I like my women like I like my candles. Found at the mall. <laughs> I like my men like I like my candles. All over my apartment. <laughs> Alright, can we get another suggestion of uh, something that you would put on a table? Candle. <laughs> Not candle. Centerpiece. Centipedes? Centipedes. <laughs> I like my women like I like my centipedes. <laughs> Multi-limbed and terrifying. <laughs> oh wait, centerpiece? I like my women like I like my centerpiece, hastily made by my third grade son. <laughs> I like my women like I like my centerpiece. It's kind of sitting there until I tell him to do something. <laughs> It's an angry crowd. I like my women like I like my centerpiece between me and my mother. <laughs> I like my men like I like my centerpiece. A new one for every holiday. Okay, can I get another suggestion? 
How about from Joe? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, dance club. Dance club. <laughs> I like my women like I like my dance club. Free to get in. <laughs> I like my women like I like my dance club. Under 21. <laughs> I like my men like I like my dance club. Loud and pumping. <laughs> I like my women like I like my dance club. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I thought it Okay, can I get the very last suggestion for this game? Of uh, something that you would find under your bed. Dust bunny. Dust bunnies. <laughs> I like my women like I like my dust bunnies. Imaginary. <laughs> I like my women like I like my dust bunnies waiting to clean. I like my men like I like dust bunnies. Easy to get rid of. <laughs> I like my women like I like my dust bunnies. Tiny and on the carpet, and then you run the vacuum cleaner over them. <laughs> and that was how I like my Now we have a game called Celebrity Sighting with Will and Shanna. And they've just seen a celebrity, and they want to tell you all about it. Now, which celebrity did they see? Nick Jonas. <laughs> I'm gonna assume from the last name that's a Jonas brother. Yeah, he is the and oldest And what one. mundane activity that you guys don't like doing, something you gotta do though, did they see Nick Jonas doing? Picking his nose. <laughs> Wait, not, not like it. <laughs> Picking his nose. <laughs> Do you want to tell him? Are you? Do you want? Do you want me to tell him? Oh, she's she's going into hysterics. It's okay. So you will not believe who we just saw at Red Mango. It it was amazing. Like my life stood. Are you sure you don't want to say anything? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I got it. I got it. So we're in Red Mango, and I of course got the diet pomegranate whatever. I know you do, sweetie. It's okay. <laughs> so I got the diet pomegranate, and we went over into the corner, right? And it's where the walls meet. <laughs> That's right, honey. Good job. <laughs> so we're sitting where the walls meet, and in walks this incredibly bodacious dude. Like, I've never seen him without his brothers around, but... He came in the door. Oh my god, he so came in that door. It was amazing. Like, everything stood still. Like, you would expect him to come through the window on a pony or something? <laughs> That's what I expect. More like a hippogriff from the Harry's <laughs> part? He just walked in through the door like a human. He was so normal. <sighs> like, I expected him to glow. Like he does in my stories I write. <laughs> Fan fiction aside, we were so <laughs> awestruck by the fact that Nick Jonas walked in the corner! Hi! So he walks in, right? And I was like, oh my god, what if he gets pomegranate? What if we have the same favorite red mango yogurt? What? Then, then we can take him back to the house. Yeah. But he got cherry. <laughs> but that was not even the worst part. He went to, I. He went to sit down. He had something in his. Everyone gets things in their nose sometimes. <laughs> I have got. I have things in my nose right now, and I want it. You're not a Jonas, though. Not yet. <laughs> well, not ever, considering the fact that you yelled at him when he picked his nose. There's still two other Jonases, probably. <laughs> oh. Anyway, she embarrassed the heck out of us. I just, I looked over and I thought his nose was eating his finger, so I <laughs> tried to save him. Save him from his nose. I gave him mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. <laughs> On his nose. I brushed my teeth afterwards. 
<laughs> no, you didn't. Don't lie. Okay. <laughs> Scene. <laughs> We're going to play a game called Chain Murder Mystery. Because <gasps> there's been a murder! What? Oh, 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 murder! Uh, this game is for Shanna, Katie, and Bill. Woo! And an audience volunteer. <gasps> you don't die, if that's what you're thinking. You kind of get to kill someone. You yeah, you get, get to kill someone. someone. It's pretty awesome. Right there. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. You got me to kill someone. <laughs> so I'm going to have... Uh, people go out in the hallway and explain. You should go to the hallway. Yeah, this is starting, so we're going to have Katie start it. So, this game is a My Man Gibberish game. Got to make sure they're gone. Yeah. They're gone. They're gone. They're good. Uh, they're going to explain the game to him, and I'm going to explain the game to you. So Katie here, she lost her voice. <laughs> she can only communicate with mime and gibberish. But there has been a murder. <gasps> Gasp. 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 <laughs> and she's going to have to tell you guys about it. Or these people. So can I get the location of this murder? The library. The library. <laughs> <laughs> the library. Now, can I get the occupation of the murderer? Ninja. Ninja. <laughs> Very appropriate. Yeah, a little bit. And then finally, the weapon that this ninja used in the library. Turtleneck sweater. Turtleneck sweater. Good. <laughs> they never suspect a sweater. Yeah, never. <laughs> and when they do, it's the V-neck. Exactly. <laughs> the turtleneck. So. Katie, you're going to be able to, I'm going to give you your voice back, I'm going to have you repeat everything. Okay, the location is a library. Correct. The occupation is a ninja. Perfect. And the weapon is a turtleneck sweater. Yes. Okay. I'll give you that. All right. So, we're going to have these people get in here with a cry of... Yes, when you think that they have figured out what has been shown, you just go, ah, got it. So, the count of three, everybody's gonna yell murder. Murder, murder. <laughs> One, two, three, murder! 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 Murder!
something you have in your dresser. <laughs> this, guy, this guy's laughed at under the bed and in his dresser. I just want to point that out. That's good. It's a comedy show. We're supposed to have him laugh. <laughs> okay. Those are our best jokes. <laughs> Actually, I have fake mustaches. Fake awesome. mustaches. Oh, wow. oh, <laughs> the night was sultry. <laughs> Detective Bob Bobison walked the streets of the city his fake mustache plastered to his face. He wondered- Objection. If, they don't really use plaster to attach those. <laughs> That's true. Yeah! <laughs> so, uh, um, I have Objection! a <laughs> Stuttering! <laughs> Uh, so my boyfriend was in a comedy show and had to wear a fake mustache and uh, obscure his identity. Objection! I didn't have to, I wanted to. <laughs> 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 he 
He wondered if everyone knew his mustache wasn't as real as the mustache of the other boys down at the station. That's right, they were all boy detectives. All solving boy crimes. Which is not as weird as it sounds now. Objection! Are you quoting the Hardy Boys? <laughs> boy crimes like, who stole my bike? And... Why not throw an apple at someone? Objection, I can make more interesting crimes than that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, that was when I stole the golden fake mustache. That's right. It doesn't sound real, but it is. It was made by ancient monks. The monks were ancient. They were old and ancient and withered. Objection, you have no idea where you're going with this. <laughs> yeah. So fake mustaches, a lot of people use them around Halloween. They're pretty funny, but to me they always look very- Objection, fake mustaches are not funny. <laughs> no, they're not funny, they're hilarious. <laughs> So people use them, and I think that they could be a little better, don't you? I mean, they look so fake, but you could just get just a little bit nicer touch to it, and then I guess they'd be more expensive. Objection! I could make my last story more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and the monks were led by their leader, Tom Selleck. That was Objection! Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually wrong. People like that. <laughs> Now, let me tell you some little-known facts about Tom Selleck. That's right! <laughs> there are little-known facts about him. The first being, Tom Selleck's favorite color is the color of his own mustache. Objection! He said it would be more interesting! <laughs> Okay, so I was doing a show and I had to have a mustache on, and so this isn't as dumb as it sounds. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't stay, and so I thought I would use a little super glue, right? <laughs> oh. Objection! Pretty sure this is exactly as dumb as it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> so I tried it at home, right? Because I'm not stupid. So I tried it at home first, and it came off, because if you use just a little, right? So, uh, time for the show, right? Well, I got a little overzealous, and it stayed on, so it actually had to stay on for uh, a scene where I played a woman. Which <laughs> didn't have a mustache, but she did. And so I, I ended up getting it off later, and there's actually a little Objection scar. gross. <laughs> just, I'm just telling them that I, I have a little scar right here, so if you get up close to me later, you can totally check out my little scar. Objection! This entire story was an attempt to get people to get close to your face. <laughs> But tonight, he was investigating the most terrible boy crime of all. First degree murder. <laughs> he goes, should we throw an apple at someone? Uh, who stole the bike? And then, who killed this guy? Premeditatively. Now, they had clues, because they had a confession note, which is a good clue to have. But, Detective Bob's fake mustache was twitching. It's because he had a little mouse living in there. It's so cute. But also because... The confession was clearly forged. Because it was made of metal like a horseshoe. <laughs> Objection! I thought of more interesting things to add to my story. <laughs> so. Objection! I haven't been up yet. So I've never been able to grow a mustache. I can grow hair basically from Objection. the chin down. I haven't been up yet either. <laughs> grow a mustache, and I think that's awesome. Facial hair just would really suck. Objection! Like not growing a mustache is not awesome. I was just about to get to that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It is awesome. And I love not having to deal with it. Um, I have tried on Objection! I'm pretty sure you have to shave a lot more than a mustache. Jim <laughs> <laughs> is the winner! Oh, yay! Yeah. So we're going to take a short break. Like five minutes. Get more drinks. And we're, not get more. we're not going to. But no. You guys hopefully will. And we'll be back with more comments. All right. So we're going to get this thing started again with a little bit of long form. That's our specialty. We just tried to warm you up with a little bit of short form. Long form's kind of like a play. So you're going to see a lot of scenes that interact, and hopefully you enjoy it. We're going to start calling things off stage too, so a bit influence it. But you'll get it as we go along. So can we get a suggestion of something that you find at the park? Swing set. Swing set. 
I'm kind of a wuss. Uh, you know when you're like on the swing set and you're going back and forth and you're like, it would be so cool if I jumped off right now. Like, I'm just going to jump, I'm going to fly through the air and land, and all the other kids are going to be like, that's a cool guy. But then you don't because what if you break your leg or skin your knee or... One time I did it and I was like, just shut my brain off, no one's even looking, I just gotta, I gotta fly, I gotta fly. Whee! And I broke my ankle. <laughs> so, uh, my family owned a big swing set uh, when I was little. My dad built it with his own two hands, as far as I know. And uh, the most vivid memory I have of it is playing with my sisters and my neighbors. We were playing Power Rangers. So, my sisters were the good guys, the Power Rangers. Me and my neighbors uh, were the bad guys. And I was at the top of the swing set. And my sister tries to climb the slide. I'm like, N I'm not having any of that, Power Ranger. So I kicked her in the face. And I knocked out four of her teeth. Uh, I was six at the time, so I'm not like a sociopath. I'm just a little dumb kid. Well, not yet, not yet. Not a sociopath yet. Just. So when I was in middle school, uh, we had these large swing sets. And this kid named Garrett, he. Um, he was swinging really high, and the whole thing was you'd swing really high and jump off, and it would be cool because you'd go far. Except Garrett went a little too high and jumped a little too far, and he landed and he broke his leg. Now that's terrible. That's Will Stewart. What? <laughs> that's just Will Stewart. <laughs> this is different. <laughs> I promise. So that's not the real part of the story. So he broke his leg, he had to get an ambulance, he had to go to the hospital. But the rest of the day, everyone in school, they had to actually stop classes because people were like crying over his broken leg like and they talk like oh man he's he was such a good kid and I, I guess I was the only one who realized that like guys he's not dead like he just broke his leg he'll be back probably with a cast yeah I know that story is really cool because I just told you right that's that's the story I no no no, no it's different it's different um, <laughs> you see after I go to the bank, I wash my hands, and then the water is actually sewer water with a rat in it that turns into my mom. <laughs> okay. And then she buys me a birthday present, but it's actually Christmas. Okay, so that's where it's different. And it's better, yeah. See, it's, it's, it's better. It's actually Christmas. It's actually Christmas, and everything's better when it's actually Christmas. Okay. Okay, but that's really weird that you also have a sewer rat that comes out like, and turns into your mom. I'm gonna win the talent show. Where do you want the Christmas tree? I mean, over there. <laughs> we come to pay our respects to <laughs> Billy, who got sung by a bee. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, he is thine. Hosanna. <laughs> Guys, it's just a little sting. Yes. Right. I'll miss you. No, it's too soon. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. As, As we command him to the earth, let us not forget his soul is in heaven. Oh. <laughs> I wish it was a mosquito. Oh. <laughs> But Why wasn't it Lord, me? You know? As the Lord taketh, the Lord also giveth away. What did he take? <laughs> Even now we can still hear his voice in all our hearts. I Please pass around the prayer cards. You can't know because you're dead. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so, James. Your teacher got a splinter today in class. <laughs> Tell me that. Tommy, hand me that ruler. Please, Tommy. Can you hand me that ruler? It's okay, son. It's okay. It's okay. Ah! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Go back! That must have been so hard for you. No? You know, I'm not supposed to do this, but come here. You need a hug. What? what? It's okay. Principal Whalens, what are you it, doing? It's okay. <laughs> have a seat, Mr. Whalens. <laughs> <laughs> do you smoke? 
I, I do, I, all the time. I, I smoke constantly. I know it's a bad example for the kids, but I... Do you want a cigarette? I would love one. Because I'm out. Oh. <laughs> now, Mr. Wade. That's okay, I have my own. There's no smoking in here. Oh. <laughs> do you know why I'm here, Mr. Wayland? Did you hear about your teacher getting a... The, the teacher getting a... <laughs> okay. Mr. Wayland. Okay. Mr. Wayland. <laughs> yes? <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> Sergeant Pachansky, please have a seat. <laughs> do you know, do you drink apple juice? <laughs> On occasion. I've been known to do that, yes. Do you want some apple juice? I'm good. <laughs> good, because we're out. Yeah, okay. Sergeant Pachansky, do you know why we called you in down today? Did you hear about that teacher who, who had a splinter? Yeah, and I heard you I'm give. I heard you give the best hugs. <laughs> oh, they're not mine. Margie, can we get can we get Mr. Whalen in here? <laughs> Thanks, Margie. Margie's fast. <laughs> uh, can you get the, the cuffs? <laughs> sure, sure. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Do you want? Do you like apple juice? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love apple juice. I'm sorry, we're out. Just cigarettes? Honey, how was school today? Um, well, I got stung by a bee. <gasps> oh no! No, it's okay. It's fine. It's just, I got a band-aid. Oh! Okay. Uh, the problem is... Have a seat. Okay. You want some cookies? Sure, that sounds great. Keep talking! Um, so all of my classmates think I'm dead. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. You want some milk? Yeah. Okay, you are saying that... Just a sec. Hello? Hey, Bev. Hey, Ann. Hey, Alex told me about your boy. Oh, yeah, no. I'm so He's... sorry for your loss. I made you a bunch of cake. Uh, I, think, I think we have a misunderstanding. I didn't have Alex bring it over. When's the service? Um, I think it's just on Sunday like always, but... <laughs> okay, I gotta go. I, I gotta I gotta serve him. I'll call the neighbors. Oh, you do that. Why? Mom, who is that? It was just Ann. She was talking about... Hell if I know. So... Thanks. Um, so... Drink? Uh, yeah, they, they Drink. think I'm... your milk. Good boy. So they think I'm dead, and I don't know what to do to convince them otherwise. Like, I try to talk to them, and they don't even respond. Well, you just gotta try harder. It's like I'm a ghost. Give me that. Hey, do you want to play jacks? <laughs> hey, um, if you don't like jacks, maybe we could play poker. Did you find a squirrel? Yeah, it's got maggots. Whoa, oh, squirrel! Cool. <laughs> hey, what are you gonna name it? Oh, I want to see. <laughs> see it come out of its eyeballs. Nice. Come yeah. on, it's just a bee. I'm still here. Oh my. Oh, God. Wow. Yeah. Ew. I would die to defend this treehouse. <laughs> I'd let you. <laughs> I know you would, Samson, and that's why you're the second in command. Now the girls are gonna try to get in here. Ha! Over your dead body! <laughs> exactly. Hey, when can they... I come up into the treehouse? No, go away! Your pigtails disgust us! Please, I, I need think cookies! I like them too. The chocolate chip. I made cookies. Sorry. Oh, cookie. <laughs> I can go down and bring it back up. Uh, Damn it, man! There was That's an accident though when I made them. I accidentally <laughs> put in twice the number of chips. <laughs> How great is your cookie vaccination? I never got vaccinated. My God, man! And they kind of all melted together into one giant cookie. That's the best kind. <laughs> And I left them out of the Look, sun, so they're really gooey and gross. The rule's very clear. If we let a girl up, I die. That's what we established, right? 
So you should go down since you've had the vaccination. My mom says I have to be home in two minutes, so I got Two minutes? <laughs> Can you just leave the cookies at the base of the treehouse? No, they're in my mom's best Tupperware. We'll return it. <laughs> she we... said not to trust boys. We have to vote. We have to vote. Give us time to vote. We don't have a quorum. <laughs> Inner monologue, little girl. All I want to do is get up into the clubhouse so I can paint a tent, dress them up in makeup, and put on a little dress on their hands, and then maybe we'll go to the schoolhouse together. You know what happened to Johnson last week. He yeah, got hand-dressed up. I said I'd do it. <laughs> I'm fine, thank you for asking. We brought you a fruit basket. We brought you a fruit basket. Ask you any moment. You guys are the 15th people to bring me some type of food in a basket. <laughs> I just. Oh, are you. It's okay. It's. I got it. I got it. It's so young. said we can have his paws. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, if he said so, I think they're up in the box. If you'll just wait for a second. We're gonna get those paws. Oh, <laughs> Pastor Daniels, how are you? Pastor Daniels? It's... You just... You gave away my paws? Oh, he came in and said that... Oh, honey, was there a misunderstanding? Yeah, I just... Three years to collect those pogs! We'll just get some new ones. Oscar, any moment. <laughs> How am I supposed to just get new ones? You go to the store, honey. They were limited edition. <laughs> you can't just go get all of those again. I got them from Burger King. <laughs> they don't sell those anymore at Burger King. Well, can't you go on the eBay? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hi. Hey. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Yeah, I'm here. Hello? Yes. Hello? Hello? Hey, it's Jeff. Are you there? Hey, Jeff. Do you want to talk to my mom? Oh, that's weird. No one's there. <laughs> This is the hardest thing I have ever had to say in my capacity as Vice President. <laughs> this is the day every VP dreads. The President has a Charlie horse. <laughs> <laughs> Show me that. Oh, dang. Oh, <laughs> oh dang. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Go back! <laughs> As per the U.S. Constitution, I am now acting president of the United States. And my first pledge is that we will put all our federal funding into the elimination of horses and Charlies. Let's, I'm not used to this. We had no security. After the Charlie Horse incident. <laughs> My fellow Americans, as you can see, we are taking <laughs> absolutely no. You knocked over my podium. <laughs> I just. My fellow Americans, Charlie Horses are an epidemic. Oh, God. 
podium. Oh, no, there's no Charlie Horser under my desk. <laughs> Is this a prank? Did the Secretary of State put you guys up to this? There's no bomb in the podium. Oh, good. There. Copy, no bomb in the podium. I'm trying to give a... So in fifth grade, I was uh, I'm monologuing. Get the fuck out! <laughs> Where do you go? <laughs> so in fifth grade, I was the class vice president. Um, if if you don't know, like if you didn't have like student government or whatever when you were like, really, go away! <laughs> if you didn't have student government when you were like really young, uh, you didn't miss anything because it's pointless. And the vice presidency was even more pointless because you filled in for the president. Why did I get to walk on? Oh goddamn. <laughs> Okay, you had to fill in for the president who did nothing when they weren't there, which was never. So, uh, okay, I think I'm... I'm... I didn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Ah! Oh, sorry, I didn't see you. It's okay. Um, sorry, uh... Johnson just told me a joke. <laughs> Do you know what goes good with a good joke? I don't. A hug? <laughs> Mr. Whalen, the last, the last time we uh, undid your cuffs so we could get one of those sweet, sweet hugs, you, uh... Well... Go on, what did I do? Yeah, is there going on? I know what I did! You broke a man's back! I'm so sorry! And the thing is, even as his spine was cracking, he asked for one more hug. He knew how much love was in that hug. Your hugs are addictive, Waylands. I broke his back, yeah. pusher, but Come I on. mended his heart. As the Speaker of the House of Representatives of the United States, I regret to inform you that the Vice President has stubbed his toe. <laughs> oh, wow. Get down! <laughs> As the janitor for uh, the municipal building in Valparaiso, Indiana, uh, everybody above me, like, I don't know, something happened. I guess I'm in charge now. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Whalen, everybody thinks I'm dead, so I think that I'm just gonna have you kill me. I hear your hugs are magnificent. <laughs> Damn it, kid. I don't have any more hugs in me. Can't you just make this one exception? I've given it up. New choice. I've, I have temporarily abstained from hugs. New, New choice. choice. I have created a new type of hug. <laughs> and this hug is so powerful, I cannot unveil it upon the world. Let me be your guinea pig. Let me be the one you don't understand. You don't understand, boy. Chinas always sits bad in my my stomach. You want to get some Mexico? Um, yeah, I could go for some Mexico. Okay, uh, I could really go for some some like Mexico City. Okay. You want to go? Is this road trip? Yeah, it's road trip. Obviously, that's why I said those things I said before. I want to go. Is that why we're in the mm -hmm. car right now? <laughs> Absolutely. I don't know why you weren't gripping that steering wheel before. I gotta get that light for the light. Tony, hey! Hey, what are you gonna do on a trip? Patches! <laughs> Patches is going to Mexico with us. This is the light. Hey, Patches, sit. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, oh, the brakes now! Ah, oh, the brakes! Oh, we're back. Hey, okay. No, not again. There's no way that story is true. There's no way that you were also a Secret Service person for the janitor of the municipal building in Valparaiso and you saved him from your sewer rat mother. 
There's that's absolutely what No, I, they, I just <laughs> told you that story. There is no way that it is completely the same as my story. No You're way. You're saying there can't be two municipalities that have janitors <laughs> who are safe <laughs> from imminent rat poisoning? From, this, from a sewer exactly. rat? Exactly. Really? That's... Really? I just, I'm just not going to tell you stories anymore. And then we went on a road trip. Billy. What? The janitor needs us. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta go. Scene. Scene. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> we have one last thing, maybe last thing, maybe if we have some extra time we'll do something else. But we're gonna play a game called Last Line anti Reasons. So with the way this works is we're going to start a scene and then somebody, anybody, can call freeze. And when they call freeze, they have to go out and tap someone out and they have to use the last line that that person said and make the scene the one before it. So you just keep going before in time. It'll make sense. It will make <laughs> sense. So can we get two people up here? Start it out. And can we get a suggestion from you guys of maybe your favorite food? Burritos. 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 I don't like the way tortillas feel in my mouth. <laughs> well, I don't like the way they feel in my hands, so you're going to have to do something about it. <laughs> Just throw it in the garbage, Mom. <laughs> I worked very hard on this. Did you? Because it looks sloppy. <laughs> It's just, I don't know why you insist on serving me things that make me wish I was dying when I eat. Freeze! <laughs> make me wish I was dying. <laughs> oh. Please! Uh, I'm not like some sort of crazy reverse genie. I can't eat her food again! <laughs> I know. Can't you just wish you were dying on your own without me making you? No, I'm food? way too optimistic! <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess... I need you to bring me down! Your test scores indicate that you're probably never going to be an architect. I don't want to be an architect! I want really? to be a clown! Oh, you're not funny. <laughs> Am I doing the right thing? It's it like, helps, it helps. All the things Keep that... The, it's, let me just repeat all the things that the girls in our grade say to you. Okay. Um, okay. Let me get my notebook, my slam book. Okay. It's just slam book. Okay. Uh, Jeremy's eyes look like... Pizza. Freeze. Jeremy's eyes? They look like pizza. Oh, I just... Becky! Yeah? <laughs> I bought him. You look Jeremy? I thought... I just... What are you doing with that chair? <laughs> his... His hair... Is like... It's like spaghetti. Yeah, that's been left out for like four days? Like... Spaghetti that's been left out for four days. Yeah. And like, the sauce and the cheese, it's kind of created this bizarre paste. I just want to put my hands through it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, like, the way his, his, his chins are all everywhere. Yeah, his like, chins, his chins, they're like, like rigatoni. <laughs> That's a pasta. Tony! Tony! God. I hate the way these kids mess up the chairs all the time. I know, they're like hurricanes. <laughs> That's insensitive. Oh, right, because of the tragedy. Yeah. The, the real world tragedy that's happening right now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> The real world tragedy that's happening right now, they're canceling it. <laughs> it's my favorite show. But then Dustin. how will I know what people are like when they've stopped being polite? I know! <laughs> Let's march down to MTV and demand it back. I don't have marching shoes. I'll okay. carry you. Like in that, like God in that poem. That was Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is God. Get. Okay. Freeze! <laughs> Get, uh, <laughs> go, uh, cancel it. Just cancel it. It's gotten to bought the costume, Martha. <laughs> they don't take a refund on sweaty big old mouse costumes. <laughs> <laughs> nice little rain costume. What's that supposed to mean? 
it means you should consider shaving your back hair. <laughs> Freeze. You should consider shaving your back hair. No, I like it. It curls around. <laughs> I know, but you're trying to get that job at MTV. I don't think they like people with nasty back hair. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> that was what my wife was for. Because they do. Would you just, oh, oh, just back up on the oh, honeys please, like this? Please, just, <laughs> I don't want to. Oh, uh, you don't want it. You just gotta do it. Come on, come on. Just, just hum that song. Fritz. Hey, baby. <laughs> just hum that song, baby. That's the name of our new show. I like it. It's like a singing show. Well, I don't okay. hate it. Talk. Yeah? It's like a singing show. It's like a singing show. But not a singing show. Right. Because people are bored with singing shows. They heard singing. No one hums. We'll put it right where we used to put the real world. <laughs> they won't even really know the difference, will they? There's a lot of humming in the current incarnation of the real world. I've been meaning to talk to the producers about that. I know, I know, I know. Like, usually I would like to hear them have a conversation, but it's mostly just... <laughs> <crazy>. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, did you eat my cereal? <laughs> no. <laughs> Darius, put that guitar away. <laughs> well, I don't know what I'm going to eat for breakfast. <laughs> Maybe you should eat. The mess you left out last night in the sink. Darius, the drum is not. I'm voting Darius out of the house. Me, second. Wait, do we do that on the show? <laughs> Darius, I will make you eat that clarinet. <laughs> <laughs> Freeze. Uh. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, just cough it out. Oh, so gross. Uh, you're such a good friend, Darius. No problem, babe. That, let's go, let's, you and me, we are gonna last all season. Yeah! This show will never end. And you're never gonna leave? Nope, never gonna leave the what house. What is happening again? Hold on, where's my guitar? It's happening again. Do, oh, throw up, babe, then we'll make out. <laughs> Great. <laughs> then we'll make out, she said. But then we didn't make out. And... <laughs> And sometimes I think that she wants me, but then I gotta go back home. And I'm like, call me, but then she doesn't call me right away. And then I'm like, this girl's here, and I'm like, there's lots of things to drink. But then... There are lots of things to drink. I n I've never seen so many things to drink on this show that we are on right now. Yeah, I yeah, they like bust it in. Do you do you want guys cut cut? There I is. I didn't memorize my lines. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't know what to say. Don't I, I just don't know what to say. You're going on the show. You're don't even talk to me, babe. Don't even talk to me. It's it's like an opportunity for me. How long are you gonna be? Back? I don't know, like a month or two. That's oh my. You'll live, whatever. I'm just gonna drink, it's fine. I've seen that show before! No, you haven't, it's not even been made yet. <laughs> well, I've seen the type of people that they're checking out. They all... What, what type of people? Naked people. I could be a naked person. You don't think I could be no, a naked that's person? that's not the point. I don't want you around You've naked been naked. People. You've been naked before. Not my Great. TV! You've been naked with that boy? <laughs> just a little bit. You are 16 years old, honey. Sixteen. He's only three years older than me. He's out of high school, sweetie. That's illegal. <laughs> you wanna you wanna talk to the pastor about what you've been doing? 
You wanna You wanna talk about about that in front of Jesus? You wanna tell him? Freeze! In front of Jesus? You wanna tell him? It's Jesus! <laughs> hey, hey, Jesus! I'm reading! Uh, yeah, okay, so, uh, Dick Watt over here is gonna make me. That was a weird one. I'm sorry. Uh, let's try, uh, uh, Dr. Douche over. No? You guys workshop that while I read! Yeah, okay, I got a confession to make in a moment. It's, uh, what? Um, bullet freeze. Face. Freeze. I've got a confession to make in a moment. Um, Buttface <laughs> and I, we went, we went to a strip club. And I enjoyed it. And, and Buttface did too. Buttface enjoyed it more than me, actually. In fact, he paid for a lap dance, and I, I abstained from that part. But I did have a drink and a half, and Buttface drank the other half. Do some boobies. Breathe. <laughs> You suck. Booties. <laughs> Look at they're all over the place. I'm so glad you came here with me. Oh, I hate the baby store. Ah! <laughs> this just, is great. I don't think I can. I really don't think I can do Look this. Look at that one. Let's get that one. <laughs> Boring. I want to take him home. Let's Freeze. get him. <laughs> I want to take him home. <laughs> Honey. Yeah. That's a tree. <laughs> it's a hot tree. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, you go ahead, try. You can try. Go ahead. Come here, tree. You can come to fire. <laughs> Just bring him with me. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> So that was last line antifreezes, and since we have a little bit of time, we're going to do a game called World's Worst, and it's a line game, and you guys are going to give us suggestions, and we're going to show you the world's worst thing of those suggestions. So, can we have an item that you have in your pocket? Man. Not actually, just a suggestion of one. Banana. That was a... You said banana. <laughs> no, I know, I said, because I said, can I have an item into your pocket? I don't need the item. Just a suggestion. That girl yeah, he said, he said pen. pen. He said yeah, I know. Pen. I was just clarifying. Matt, the guy said pen. Pen is a suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why, this pen is out of ink. And his sentient and stabbing. Ah! It's a bad pen. <laughs> so it's a suggestion of a pen, not an actual pen. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Why I have one pen, two. I believe this is pen 15. <laughs> <laughs> Write it down, that one's funnier on paper. Okay, I'll just. John Hancock! <laughs> <laughs> I'll just write with my completely waterproof. Shh. <laughs> so, can I get another item, something that you'd find in your desk? An axe. <laughs> an X? An X. 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 Hopefully not an X. <laughs> yep, this is the X I keep in my desk for when my employees are unruly. Takers. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, the trees keep breaking my axes. Oh, no. Hold on, Johnny, let me cut your meat. Cut! <laughs> cut! <laughs> this is the axe I keep in my desk for when the ladies aren't unruly. <laughs> <laughs> now bring the little mushna here. It is time for his breeze. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> okay, can we get uh, an item that you have in your pantry, some type of food item? Free fried beans. Free fried beans. I'm only frying them once! <laughs> 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 
Damn it, I, fr I fried them thrice. <laughs> Better be magical. <laughs> <laughs> These beans haven't been fried at all! <laughs> okay, can I get another item that you would find in your closet? <laughs> Well, where's hat? It's a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Why the Germans will never hit me in this big top hat? <laughs> <laughs> Gryffindor! <laughs> <laughs> that's the best hat. Yeah. I love that hat. Best hat. Hey, an ass hat! <laughs> <laughs> Can I get an occupation? Lumberjack. I have any one of the axes from earlier. I'm just really scared of trees, shrubbery, any kind of wood, really. Jeff, hand me the dental floss. <laughs> okay, just got all this lumber. I'm just gonna slide this under there. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, it's going over. What do I yell? What do I? Four? No, that's one. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I got wood. <laughs> this is Gabe, my green ox. <laughs> I've been sickly. <laughs> Time to cut down this tree and win the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I get another occupation? Barber, sir. Barber. I'm just gonna take a little off the top. <laughs> I'm whoever does my hair. <laughs> so how do you want it? Off. Up. Oh, nope. Sorry. It's all staying. The oh, you want to wash your hair in the sink too? Yes, is, please. You, is that is that good? No. Okay. You said no eyebrows, right? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm ready to cut your hair now. <laughs> Now, if I clip your ear, you get a dollar back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just really love to... Let's pull down your pants, I will shave you. <laughs> We're not gonna end there. <laughs> Can we get your favorite subject in school? History. History. Well, history. <laughs> <laughs> and in fifteen hundred and six boobies. <laughs> The Saxons attacked the Huns and then boobies, boobies, fart, fart. They did raise a siege against the Huns and booby fart butt sex. <laughs> Who giggled? <laughs> Do not giggle at my speech impediment! <laughs> <laughs> this is the Third Reich! It is the entire world! Congratulations, Hitler! <laughs> Alright, that was his story. Now it's time for her story. What's your story, lady? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and in 1999, Axe Body Spray came up with a new line that revolutionized their target audience. <laughs> Alright, scene. <laughs> we have been at Liberation.
Uh, you can check us out on the web at adliberation.net. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Um, I am Matt. Oh, I'm Taylor. Shanna. <laughs> Tim. Katie. Will. Bill. Mike. Yes, Bill, Bill is a guest from One Size Fits All. Go check them out, too.